Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer for Thursday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, September 16th, 2021, in which we celebrate the memorial of Saints Cornelius, Pope and Martyr, and Cyprian, Bishop and Martyr. I am Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we always begin, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The martyrs fixed their eyes on heaven and cried out in their torments, Come, Lord, be with us in this hour. Our first psalm is Psalm 143, entitled Prayer in Distress. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like the dead, long forgotten. Therefore, my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought, and to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love. For I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will. For you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, early in the morning of your resurrection, you made your love known and brought the first light of dawn to those who dwell in darkness. Your death has opened a path for us. Do not enter into judgment with your servants. Let your Holy Spirit guide us together into the land of justice. The martyrs fixed their eyes on heaven and cried out in their torments. Come, Lord, be with us in this hour. Blessed spirits and souls of the just, pour out your songs of praise to the Lord. Alleluia. Our canticle is taken from Isaiah entitled, Joy of Heaven. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exalt, exalt with her, all you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed spirits and souls of the just, pour out your songs of praise to the Lord. Alleluia. You throng of martyrs, give endless praise to God on high. Our second psalm is Psalm 147, entitled, the loving kindness of God who can do all he wills. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with a harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. 
He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warrior's strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him and those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, our Father, great builder of the heavenly Jerusalem, you know the number of stars and call each of them by name. Heal hearts that are broken, gather together those who have been scattered, and enrich us all from the plentitude of your eternal wisdom. You throng of martyrs, give endless praise to God on high. Our reading this morning is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The sufferings of the present are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed in us. Indeed, the whole created world eagerly awaits the revelation of the sons of God. Creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but by him who was subjected, when subjected it, yet not without hope, because the world itself will be freed from its slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. Blessed among us today are Saints Cornelius, Pope and Martyr, and Cyprian, Bishop and Martyr. Saint Cornelius was ordained Bishop of the Church of Rome in 251. He fought against the Novatian Schematics and with the help of Cyprian was able to enforce his authority. Driven into exile by the Emperor Gallus, he died in 253. His body was brought to Rome, where he was buried in the cemetery of St. Callistus. St. Cyprian was born to pagan parents in Carthage around the year 210. He was converted, ordained, and subsequently made bishop of that city in the year 249. By his writings and his actions, Cyprian guided the church through difficult times. In the persecution of Valerian, he was exiled, then martyred on the 14th of September, 258. Our responsory, in the early morning, in the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O Lord. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O Lord. Always you are there to help me. I think of you, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O Lord. Our Canticle of Zechariah. How precious the death of those who purchased eternal life by shedding their blood. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophecy promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How precious the death of those who purchased eternal life by shedding their blood. The response to our intercessions this morning is, O oh God, teach us your wisdom. Redeeming God in company with Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we pray. O oh God, teach us your wisdom. Inspire Pope Francis and bishops in their efforts to dialogue with the church and understand the needs of families. We pray, O oh God, teach us your wisdom. Guide the World Council of Churches in their labor for ecumenism. We pray, O oh God, teach us your wisdom. Uphold the work of the United Nations to safeguard human rights and to advance peace, security, and welfare for all. We pray, O oh God, 
teach us your wisdom. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, deacon candidates, for our parish ministers, our parish staff, for Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for all of our parishioners and any of our parishioners who may either be sick or who have passed away, we pray, O oh God, teach us your wisdom. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And a prayer amid our COVID-19 epidemic. Jesus Christ, you traveled through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain, regain their strength and health through quality medical care. Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. Heal us from our pride, which can make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Jesus Christ, healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Be with those who have died from the virus. May they be at rest with you in your eternal peace. Be with the families of those who are sick or who have died. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. May they know your peace. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. May they know your peace as they work together to achieve it on earth. Whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness or only a few, Jesus Christ, stay with us as we endure and mourn, persist and prepare. In place of our anxiety, give us your peace. Jesus Christ, heal us. God our Father, in Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, you have given your people an inspiring example of dedication to the pastoral ministry and constant witness to Christ in their suffering. May their prayers and faith give us courage to work for the unity of your church. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God lead us from war to peace, from despair to hope, and from hate to love, through Jesus our peace. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.